There are close to 225,000 new patients diagnosed with lung cancer each year just in the United States. And if you look at the risk factors why they develop lung cancer, almost 85% of lung cancers are related to smoking. And that doesn't happen from a day or two of exposure to cigarettes, but a lifetime of exposure to cigarette smoke and the carcinogens are cancer-causing chemicals in cigarette smoke. We have good evidence that if somebody quits smoking cigarettes, their risk of lung cancer reduces. And this is critically important for people to understand that lung cancer risk can be reduced even if you smoke for 20, 30 years, that by continuing to smoke, you're at a higher risk than quitting smoking. The second thing is patients often ask me, I've already been diagnosed with lung cancer. Why should I quit smoking? Well, we have evidence that if somebody quits smoking after the diagnosis of lung cancer, they tend to tolerate treatment options better. They tend to have less side effects with treatments and their outcomes may also be a little better compared to if they continue to smoke cigarettes. So from a prevention of lung cancer standpoint, smoking cessation is very critical in the community at large. And when you specifically look at the population of patients with lung cancer, even their smoking cessation has benefits. So for all these reasons as a society, we need to focus on improving our ability to help people quit smoking.